Hey everybody, we've got such a cool video for you today because we are taking a detailed look at one of the coolest cars from the mid 2000s. And at the end of this video, we're gonna tell you how you can own this very car. And we're even gonna to talk to the owner. This is the 2006 Acura RSX Type S, and this is the last year that they made the Type S. And these things were a really cool machine back in the day. And these RSXs were actually the replacement for the Integra, but I think these are a much better value. Now the RSX was a really cool design when it debuted some 20 years ago and even today it holds up beautifully and this Type S has some really fantastic features that make it stand out. Now, nowadays cars are so over designed and there's so much emphasis in crazy LED patterns and all kinds of wonky fins in the front, but this RSX is a clean, simple design and it's held up so well considering the age of this car. Plus you just can't beat the profile of a two-door coupe. And this is fantastic too. If you live in a snowy environment like we do here in Colorado, the RSX even features back here a rear wiper, which is just great. But what I love about this particular RSX is every single RSX I have seen, and maybe ever, has been modified within an inch of its life. They've been lowered, they've been stanced, they have aftermarket exhaust, and they have a lot of engine modifications. But check out how clean and original this RSX Type S is. It's, it's just such a time capsule. So exterior differences between the standard RSX and the Type S were pretty mild. You got a little bit of ground effects here, but what I really like are these 17 inch Anki wheels were uh, only on the Type S, but also this, this little side here I think looks fantastic. And then moving on back over here, you got this very mild looking deck lid spoiler that gives you just a little bit of hint to the performance behind it, but isn't overly showy. So Brendan, what are we looking at underneath the hood here? So this is Honda's two liter IV tech dual overhead cam engine that put out 210 horsepower. And now if you got a 04 or earlier type S, it only had 200 horsepower. And if you got just the base model RSX, that only had 155 horsepower. So the 05 to 06, Type S really is the one to have. Yeah, and it's a fantastically durable engine setup. You can see a transverse mounted four cylinder made into a manual transmission, and it's got that legendary Acura slash Honda VTEC experience. Now, the interior of the Type S is really very special. There's a lot of cool things in here, starting with these bucket seats. And even with the age of this car, look how well the leather has held up. A little bit of wear over here on the driver's side bolster, but this is just such a fantastic looking seat. Very early 2000s, but even some 20 years later, I mean, they're really comfortable and they're surprisingly supportive. And you are greeted by this very driver centric dashboard with the fantastic Type S white gauges here and an 8,000 RPM red line with the 160 mile per hour speedometer. But what I love about Acura's and Honda's of this era, the steering wheels are just perfectly bolstered. The right thickness and your hand just falls to hand in the perfect spots. Now, apart from that, it's cool seeing this Type S with its original stereo here and you can see how it fits in the dashboard beautifully. And I love these kind of little knurled plastic controls not only here on the steering wheel but up here on the automatic climate control it's a very clean simple layout which nowadays is rare to find in in uh you know an era full of screens and fancy features now moving down here to the center we do have dual cup holders which makes a great place nowadays to hold your larger iphones and then we come to the six speed manual transmission shifter with what i believe is the original shift knob which is super cool and even uh, considering the age of this car it still has that fantastic tight honda acura feel back here old school parking brake and then of course you couldn't get away from the fact that you know back in the early 2000s hard black plastic did rule the interiors of a lot of cars but even still this is such a usable comfortable place to spend time the back seats obviously a little bit tight probably not usable for more than like kids but apart from that for a small two-door hatch it's a very comfortable place to spend time 
Now the RSX being a hatchback is also super practical. You have this wide opening area where you can fit a ton of cargo and then if this space isn't enough, you can just pull up on these and easily fold down those seats for even more space. The thing that I really like that they did in this is they integrated the cargo cover and if you wanted to take it off, you could just by unclipping it right here and then pulling out. But why would you? You just keep it on there and then when you close it, you'll see it perfectly covers up your cargo area so you don't have to worry about anything being exposed. So we've got a great opportunity here to speak to the owner, Alan. Alan, thanks for coming out. I really appreciate yeah. it. So talk to me about this RSX. How long have you had it? I bought it in 07, um, a year after it came out to one previous owner. Wow. So you bought this just a year after it rolled off the assembly line. And what drew you to this Acura? I actually had an Integra a few years earlier that I had to sell um, and was looking for something similar and they'd stopped making the Integra. So this was the next best thing. And how many miles was on this car when you bought it? I'm going to guess about 8,700. That's what was written in the owner's manual by the previous owner when he did his last oil change. So I think I got it right around that time. And what's it sitting at now? Uh, it's slightly over 120,000. So over the past 110 some thousand miles, how is this car been to own? Perfect. Yeah? Not a day's worth of problem. Wow. Nothing. At the, the only thing I've ever had to replace on it, other than typical wear and tear, front caliper on the uh, passenger side. Unreal. Everything else is stock factory, just how it came. Now, a lot of these cars, when people bought them, especially younger folks, the first thing they did was modify them. Did you consider doing that when you bought this in 07? Thought about it. You know, I was obviously <laughs> a lot younger back then. I wanted, I wanted a fast car. I wanted to soup it up and do something something crazy and my dad talked me out of it very wise decision <laughs> so no modifications everything's exactly how i got it now um why are you selling it now what's what's the reasoning there um I, sadly i need some money for a down payment to get a a new vehicle okay um fair enough now are you gonna miss this car yes yeah very much okay very cool. Well, we really appreciate you selling it with us and uh, we'll include the link to TFL Bids in the comment section below so you can uh, bid on this car and have an opportunity to own a super cool, basically one owner, apart from the one guy, okay, two owner RSX. That's so cool. What a cool story. So Alan, thank you so much for bringing this car out. And you know, I, uh, I actually had a friend of mine in high school that had an RSX Type S, but uh, he was very possessive over it and never let me drive it. So I'm getting to drive an RSX Type S for the first time. And man, I have to say for, for just being kind of like a Honda front wheel drive hatchback, this thing actually feels really special. The leather on the steering wheel is really nice. The shifter is crisp and precise. And the, the suspension on this thing feels super tight. And this thing feels like it can handle on rails. Would you say that's pretty accurate? Yeah, that's one of the reasons I bought it. I, I love the way that it feels. Yeah, these things are really, really understated. Uh, for the amount of money that you would spend on one of these, they are definitely a performance car bargain. And with it being front wheel drive too, it could be your only car because in the snow, these things aren't too bad. I mean, although it's not what they were meant for, but if you add in the practicality of a hatchback and the fact that it's got front wheel drive, you know, this could be a good all around car for somebody. But when you wanna get it into the meat tech, you can rev this engine out and it'll scream and It'll surprise you with how quick these things are. In typical Acura fashion, it rides actually surprisingly quiet. There isn't a ton of road noise on there. And you can tell this engine is peppy and wanting to get revved all the way out. It has got almost an 8,000 RPM uh, red line on it. So you can really ring this thing out and get a lot of fun out of it. So Brendan, this is a car that I really didn't know that much about, but after spending a little bit of time with it, I'm completely sold. The overall look, the quality of the interior, this thing is super neat. Yeah, these are great vehicles. Like I said, these replace the Integra. And if you were watching the values on those Integra Type Rs, which had about 197 horsepower, did zero to 60 in about seven seconds, they are crazy valuable right now, selling for some close to six figures. But these RSX Type S's are still 
under $10,000 and these do zero to 60 in 6.2 seconds. So they're even quicker. And I just think it's a fantastically long lived car. 220,000 miles on some sports cars would be the end of its life. Right. This thing with the Honda build quality is just gonna keep going. It's a fantastic value. And I really think one of you are going to enjoy owning this car. So let us know what you think in the comments below. A big thank you to Alan for bringing his car out. We'll see you on the next video.